Hello everybody, Kevin Savatola here with One Team Realty. I'm out here in Winter Garden, Florida, checking out one of the newest communities that is only five to 10 minutes away from Disney. And one of the perks of being five to 10 minutes away from Disney, is that you're obviously close to Disney, you can go to Disney whenever you want, and you get to see the nightly fireworks, especially this home that has a covered balcony in the back for the master suite. Imagine at night just relaxing, drinking a cup of wine right before you go to sleep, watching the fireworks at night. You can't beat it. So I want you guys to join me on this tour because today we're checking out Toe Brothers. Toe Brothers is the number one pro luxury production home builder on all the United States. I've done a few of their homes so far and they're all great. If you've seen my channel for a while, you've seen some of Toe Brothers and they do not mess around because they're nice houses. And today we're gonna to be checking out the Griffin the Griffin is about 4,000 square feet, five to seven bedrooms with a tandem three car garage. And it's a beautiful living space with a master suite to die for. Like I said, it has a balcony. So I'll, I don't want you guys to miss it. Stay tuned towards the end where I'm gonna show you a secret door and then the awesome master suite. So come on in. So let's go check out the Griffin model. As you can see, it definitely has a lot of nice accents. So you can see it has regular siding and then that kind of overlapping siding that gives it a nice touch. Some stucco, some stonework and pavers as well. So all that gives this home really nice curb appeal. And you also get this nice front porch right here. You can just sit down, just hang around. People watch, watch the cars go by. Enjoy your morning right over here. But there's a lot of other covered outdoor living spaces that that works very well for this home. So let's go on in, let's go in through the front door that's eight feet tall, and then check out the, the inside of the house. Here we got 10 foot ceilings, which is always nice to have. And then right to your left, we got our first linen closet. This home has a lot of linen closets, which is an underappreciated feature, but they thought about it here. And then to your right, you got the closet, And the nice thing about this bedroom is that this room has its own private bathroom. So if you've got guests visiting from out of the state, I mean, with you being five to 10 minutes away from Disney, you're gonna have visitors. You're gonna have family and friends visiting, but yes, it has a full bathroom. So you got your sink, toilet, and a walk-in shower included in this ensuite in the front. And then you do have a little closet right over here too. And let's continue this way. This home does have a really nice formal dining area, as you can see right here. There's an eight seater table right here. It does connect to the kitchen right over here. It's definitely nice for the people that like to have those nicer Christmas, Thanksgiving dinners, Easter, wh whichever one is for you. And then right over here, we have that AC closet. How fun is that? <laughs> Look at that awesome AC by Carrier. There's another one upstairs too. So you get two AC units. Right here, you got a powder bath for all your guests downstairs. And then one of the neat things of the, about this house, outside, you're gonna see a two car garage, but this is actually a tandem three car garage. So the way I would set this up is that you can have this for one car, this for another car, and then you got all this space for storage, for your tools. Definitely a lot of storage space. I mean, I, as you can see, look how far I am from the camera. This garage is about 40 feet deep in this section. I'm pretty sure my fiance who's recording, that's 37 weeks pregnant, which I really appreciate that she, she's helping me out with these videos, would love that space so I can fit all my tools. And then, so we could go this way or that way to see the kitchen. So we'll go this way. So over here is called the Butler's Pantry because um, all this space, I don't know why they call it Butler's Pantry, but that's what it's called. So you got extra countertop space, cabinets. You got an upgraded wine fridge as well. Uh, so if you want to pop a bottle of wine with me, she can't drink right now. She's probably done. 
And then right over here, we got the pantry. Definitely a nice size pantry there. And then we'll continue this way. Over here, you got the upgraded microwave here. Um, some people like it, some people don't, but that's the way they do it here. You got an upgraded stove here. But one nice thing about this location is that here you got gas standard. Because one of the benefits to that is that obviously you got a gas stove standard. But another benefit is that you got a tankless gas water heater. And what's awesome about that is that it's not like a tank where if you take a long shower, cold water starts coming out. With a tankless gas water heater, you could take a two hour long shower and you'll still get hot water coming out. So that's great. But yeah, definitely an upgraded stove right there. I am a big fan of this nice, I think this the material is like a granite or something like that if I remember. But it's nice and white. I don't know how they'll hold up over time, but definitely looks nice. With Toe Brothers, you're able to customize your home as well. So if you like these black handles, the white cabinets, and then if you wanted to, you can make the island with black cabinets. So you're able to customize it to your liking as well. Right over here, we do have the casual dining space. As you can see here, it is an eight seater table as well. So plenty of space here. There's a big house, so I'm pretty sure you have a big family as well. So definitely a nice spot to gather around, eat some dinner, eat some breakfast, whatever you want. Study, do homework, whatever. You also have four spots right here to eat every day, no morning, quick breakfast, eat something real quick. Definitely a nice spot right there. And then right here, check out this living room. This living room is huge. Definitely a nice living room to entertain. Watch the game, the Sunday night games. And it's nice and open. I can see the kitchen, I can see the dining space. Everything is nice and open in this space, which in today's world is called open concept. So let's go check out the patio because it has a really large patio and an outdoor kitchen. Now, what do you guys think about this pool? Pretty nice, huh? One nice thing that I like about this house too that I will personally probably want to do is that outdoor kitchen. As you can see here, you got a fridge, you got a, you got a grill, you got some storage space, storage space, and a sink. I um, mean, and you got the extractor like that. You're grilling some burgers, you get some smoke coming out. That will suck it all out. They also put some extra outlets throughout too for any small kitchen appliances that you might want to use out here. But definitely a nice spot if you want to hang around outside, watch some football, basketball, whatever. Definitely a nice spot. Actually, I want to take it now. I'm just kidding. It's a nice day in Florida. I mean, it's December and it's like 72 degrees and this pool looks really enticing right now. But I can't jump in the pool, unfortunately. So let's go on upstairs. So I'm gonna let you guys go ahead first upstairs. They did do the upgraded wood wooden staircase. Definitely gives the home a really nice touch. They also did these iron spindles that gives it more of an open feel and another luxury touch to the house. And then here we're walking into the loft. Definitely a nice big loft. Always good to have like that. The kids can have a nice play area, play some video games, put a pool table, whatever you want. Right over there, we got the master suite. I'm saving that for the end. You're not gonna wanna miss that because I mean, balcony, tub, lots of nice little features there. So stick to the end with me, okay? Right over here, we got the gamers room. As you can see, it has the controllers all throughout. Definitely a nice little room. It does have a walk-in closet. Plenty of windows in this room. I mean, you got one here, two here, and then one in the walk-in closet as well. And then to your right, there is a linen closet, or I'm sorry, uh, the other fancy AC unit, the carrier. 
And then you got a full bathroom right there. And there's my lovely fiance, who's 37 weeks pregnant right now, as you can see there. And then right over here, we do have another linen closet. But this one is great to store your games away since a lot of kids will be playing there. As you can see, they put some board games in here, some towel or some blankets. So definitely a nice way to utilize this space right now. Then we'll continue on to this bedroom right over here. This is for the surfer of the home because obviously you see surfboards. But one nice thing is that this bedroom has a bigger walk-in closet than the than the other bedroom we just looked at. You do have a nice big window there as well. And then coming over here, you do got a Jack and Jill bathroom that's shared with the other bedroom. So take a look. You got your double sinks, you got a toilet, and a full nice big old shower right there. I like the way they did the tiles there, it's really nice. They do have the feature of doing it all the way up to the ceiling, which is always a nice touch. Right over here, we do have an underappreciated feature, like I said earlier, the linen closet. Always nice to put away the towels, toilet paper, any extra toiletries right there. Always good to have. And right here we got the other regular bedroom. Um, nothing crazy about here. You got one little window right over there. You got your closet over here. And then now, what I've been saving for then is the master suite. Now the master suite is one of the nicer master suites that I've seen. It's nothing too, too crazy, but it checks off a lot of the boxes. I mean, my fiance saw it and she fell in love with it because what is there not to love? I mean, check out all this space that it has here. I mean, you can see how far away I am from the camera. You got a big king size mattress. It looks small in this room, but you got a whole sitting area in front of it. Plenty of space still. And then a dresser right over here. And you can put your big old TV in. There's still plenty of space here. So definitely a nice room, especially with the tray ceilings, the beams. Definitely checks off a lot of boxes right here, I believe. Another thing, it has a balcony. That's awesome. And the good thing about having this balcony, like I said, you're only five to 10 minutes away from Disney. You could probably see the fireworks from back here, depending on which way you're positioned. But the nice thing about this balcony is that you got a view from this side. You got a view from this side. You got a view from that side as well. So there's a higher chance for you to see the Disney fireworks out here, which is pretty nice. I mean, can you see yourself just sitting out here, enjoying your morning cup of coffee, just watching everybody, relaxing, enjoying the nice Florida beach breeze? It's December right now, and it's probably like 75 degrees, which is pretty nice out here right now. And then you can see there's plenty of space out here. They even got this nice lounger right here. Nice way to just hang around. And then now we're gonna check out the master bathroom, which my fiance fell in love with. I mean, she loves that tub with the nice big windows there. She, as soon as she saw it, she fell in love. She's even telling me she, she really likes this. So one nice thing about here too, is that you got dual vanities. So the nice thing about this one, is that the lady, she could just sit right here, work on her hair, How's my hair looking? It's looking good? Thank you. She said it was looking great, so go work on your makeup. Okay. You can check yourself in the little mirror. You got your sink right here as well. That's probably the first one to turn that one on. And then the guys can have their own sink. The only thing you need here is probably the toothbrush and toothpaste, but you got a linen closet. Plenty of storage space there. And then you got the toilet room. Shower is also a pretty good size here. You probably have the option of adding a rain fall shower head too, which is a feature that I would do. I've done it before and I love it. And now for that secret door that I told you about, let's go right into this closet right over here. So as you can see, nice big closet. 
And then you do not have to go far to do your laundry room because you got your door to go to the laundry room. Now, I believe this is an option, but if you don't do the option, you have more shelving, whichever way you want to do it. But you do have your washer and dryer there, nice window right there. You do have the option to put some cabinetry here right now. Um, it's a feature that I would personally like. We're looking at doing that in our house, um, but definitely gives a lot more storage space. You get the sink as well. Definitely a lot of nice little features in this home. So thank you for tuning in today's video. As you can see, I'm just hanging around out here in this nice balcony, letting my hair flow in the breeze right now. You can't beat it, especially with this Florida weather. It's a nice breeze outside, not too cold, not too hot. And this looks great. And another great thing about this, as we just mentioned, you got a nice tub with the same views as well. Now, a lot of people ask Kevin, the tubs look so small nowadays. Look, I am six foot one, 250 pounds, and I fit here just perfectly as well. As you can see, nice and comfy here. I didn't break it, hopefully. <laughs> um, but yes, if you enjoyed this video, if I made you laugh a little bit, please like, comment, and subscribe. And then if you don't want, if you didn't enjoy the video, please like, comment, and subscribe for our baby coming out, if anything. But in the meantime, I'll see you guys on the next video. Bye-bye.